What's going on everyone? We're on Diner Simulator and I've got some tips and tricks for the beginners of the game. So let's begin. For my first tip, I want you guys to go to your upgrades. Here you'll see two things, well three things. Your stats that you can upgrade with cookies. Enter a code. You want 10,000 cookies, enter this code, and as of the uh, posting of this video, it'll work. And once you enter, you'll get 10,000 cookies. But besides that, you want to select rank. This is going to be very important. You're going to have at least three ranks. Four of you already are a Roblox Premium user. You want to toggle your stats, and you can hover over the select, and it'll show what stats are associated with that rank. So with premium, you're going to have a lot of cleaning speed, like two times cleaning speed. You're going to be 10% faster, be a bit smaller, and you take orders a bit faster. And you can hold two more ingredients. So overall, very good. I mean, it beats this out, honestly. Like, the only thing that tops this rank here is, like, the final rank. <laughs> like, the level 6 version of the waiter rank for the best cooking rank i guess like that and then hover over vip is well vip your hand assembly is going to be 100 percent faster which is two times faster your ingredient capacity go up by two and your cooking speed is going to go up by 25 percent so overall really good and again the only thing that's going to beat that out the level six chef rank which is gordon ramsay as i remember correct as master chef this is the stats for it and this is the stats for vip and hand assembly is much more important than cooking speed and then for the second tip is accessories and right, let's get rid of that you're gonna you're gonna go to this little icon here that says accessories and here you can see all the goodies like it's chicken head if you click inspect you can see right here, it will show what stats are associated with each item. Right now I have the Gourmet Chef hat on. Toss 100,000 cookies, says it right there too. And these, are, there's all the stats that comes with it. And if you have premium or VIP, you can have one back, one hat, one shoe, and one unique accessory. And also a manager item too, which can only be found here where it says enter shop. Here we see Curse Flames, if we inspect it, we can see that's the manager item. Of course, it's very costly too, but if you look at the stats, you'll see why it's so expensive. And this refreshes uh, like every 24 hours, I believe. That's actually where I got my ancient wizard beard, which gives me a ton of speed for reduced range. Also my gourmet chef hat. And as a beginner, I recommend you grind up for light cape if you can. 50,000 cookies, it's a lot, but 200% hand assembly with a bit of speed and interaction range, that goes a long way. And for the next tips, it's going to be about certain servers and how to save servers as well. So for this one that I'm playing on right now, it's not my server, it's random one I joined. It's on day 19 with like almost 5k money, so we're just going to leave it by typing exclamation mark lobby. And then here, if you go to saved servers, you'll see that uh, this is Tater Thoughts uh, server at about 5k day 19. We were just on it. And if you scroll down, I think there's like the most recently played servers that you've been on. I think eight servers that you've played. So if you've got an older server and you forgot the join code for it, because if you remember the join code, you don't need to delete servers to go to it. You can just enter the code here. But if you don't remember it and you need to go to it, you're going to have to delete some servers. Like if there's a bankrupt server somewhere, just delete it. You know, I like all these servers, but I deleted that server. And now this one is appearing. I guess I can delete this one. And I deleted that. See, here's a day 39 that was doing really well. And if I keep deleting, I'll get to the day 53 icy island server so for tip four it's to join a friend maybe you've had issues joining a friend like they wanted to play on blissful beach and they're telling you to get on blissful beach and they even tell you the code and you enter the code but you can't get in oh if you ever run into that that's because as a beginner of the game you guys both have to have the same map so if they've got blissful beach and you don't it doesn't matter if you have the code or not you can't join them but if they're on desert diner or icy island the free maps then yeah you should be able to join it otherwise if you don't have these maps 
whether you paid for them with cookies or game passes, then you can't join them. All right, so for my next tip, it's gonna involve stealing plates from other players. If you see someone in your server or like someone else's server that's just holding a bunch of plates, making a tower, they hold it long enough in a lot of them, that can drop the restaurant's rating down here, which also affects, you know, how many customers come into your diner, which is important. So you don't want that rating to drop a lot. So in order to avoid this, first make sure you're empty handed and then you got to find the person that has all the plates. This girl is going to be our victim. I'm going to wait for her to gather the plates and stand still. The key is for them to stand still. And as you saw, I was spam clicking and you'll grab all of her plates except the plate at the very bottom and we we'll just put it in there. So when you try to steal plates, make sure you're empty handed, you know, spam clicking or tapping on like the second to bottom plate, not the last plate that they're directly holding, but like plate right above it or around there. And then now you can now clean those dirty dishes without them dropping the rating any further. And then for my next tip, it's actually a very useful tip and that's creating plates in assembling foods from like very far distances so i'll show you right now i'll grab i'll just grab the small platter and then if we go very far away you notice the words create a plate appear still even though i'm super far away Let's see so I've made a banana split up here for the plate for it, even though I'm outside the restaurant. Oh god. And then, as for assembling it, as long as you can see it, like this banana right here, maybe they don't have ingredients for it. Let me check. Alright, they got one ingredient. So about right here, I added the banana to it, and then it's just a matter of seeing the cherry. Then I added the cherry, and the ice cream's right there. And bam, you just made... A banana split from like over 10 meters away. Uh, this method works best on open areas. So Blissful Beach, you can see the ingredients, like the box of ingredients from very far away. If you're on that map, you can essentially cook your food from anywhere on that map, basically. As long as you can still see the ingredients and the create a plate menu box. So yeah, very useful method. And then for my next tip, it is just a recommendation. So just a full on tip. I recommend as a beginner, you don't have foods on your menu that require cooking like this, Wimburger, and it gives really good profit. It gives the highest profit in the game, but you gotta grill the ribs each time. So there's raw ribs, and then you have to grill them and put them back. For me, it cooks fast because of all my perks, but as a beginner, you're gonna cook very slowly and that's gonna take time. And the other thing you wanna avoid is foods that require a lot of ingredients. Again, like this Wimburger, there's like five ingredients to make a Wimburger. You know, putting it all together, it's just gonna be very slow. I'm gonna take this banana split. There's three ingredients. That's not bad at all. I recommend a banana split for beginners if you've got it. And then for my next tip, it's for your missions. Missions to get cookies or loot boxes, right? If you've got missions to like cook, or fish, especially fishing. Um, just create a new game. Go to Icy Island. I'll just make that Icy Island server and then just start fishing. So yeah, just have your own dedicated server for fishing, and then you know, just start fishing, man. Like If you land a majority of your catches, you're gonna end up with pretty big money. And you, know, you can survive a very long time like this. Like, look, my bills are very low, and I have 2,000 from not cooking at all, from just selling everything I catch. And then in the same server you use for fishing, with your spare money from all the stuff you bought and sold, I have like one item, like this a hamburger, right? Up here, I like the hamburger patties, grab them, and just throw them here like 48 times or 240 times for however many you need. And now you have one server that covers all of your fishing and all of your cooking. You know, Icy Island gets a lot of spots too. So while you're out here fishing, a good amount of spots can appear sometimes. Anyways, for my next tip, you just, you know, as a beginner, you want to focus on these upgrades right here. You want to max everything out, except maybe ingredient capacity. Definitely focus on ingredient capacity for last and you know in order to do that you have certain missions i just showed you how to do the cleaning spots mission the fishing mission and the cooking mission and if you have you know take order mission as well while you're fishing out there or something 
just come back inside, run around, take their orders. You don't even have to serve them food, just take their orders. Holy crap, this guy's obnoxious. I hate this guy. He won't stop cackling. I'm gonna slip a pill in his drink. But yeah, that's that's taking orders right there. And then also for missions that require you to survive, you know, a certain amount of seconds or like a certain amount of collective days. Go to the lobby, we're gonna search for servers, right? And we're gonna search for a specific kind of server. We want to find a server. It was like the one I was in earlier in my video. Like this one right here. Tater thought it has a decent amount of players. According to its bank, it's doing well. It's not gonna go bankrupt anytime soon. You know, while I was making my video, I was just there for a while doing nothing and I didn't get kicked. I don't know if the server owner is still here. Tater thought. Let's go through the name. They're not even here anymore so no one can kick me which is fantastic and then this is what i like to do all right i like to go back here i like to get on this box i kind of just like to hide behind here and then i would leave an auto clicker on do like this i leave it on so it, i don't get auto kicked and then you know as long as you know you don't get kicked or it doesn't go bankrupt you'll stay here and you'll rack up you know days or however many seconds you need and that's how you get, you know, time for, you know, the time sensitive challenges that you have. You know, this is assuming you don't have a lot of time to play the game, right? Like you're busy, you got to go somewhere for like an hour or two. All right. And then the last tip is essentially preser preserving your own server. So, and also just, you know, finding the code for said server, whether it's your own server or someone else's server. So for this server, the join code is right up here and it can also be found in the manager's room, I believe. Yeah, right down here. This is not my server, so I can't make a new join code. But well, you can make a new join code here if it was your server. And say, you know, this was my server and it's doing really well. I want to save it for later. But, you know, I don't want anyone to screw up the server while I'm gone. I like, I got to go to bed or something. So if this was my server, what you'd want to do, you know, you tell everyone, hey, good job y'all or something or you don't have to say anything and you just start kicking everyone out because you're the server creator and you can kick almost anyone unless it's like the developer of a game in that case you just kind of ask them to leave so you can save the server and you know they'll go so you get everyone out you come up here i'm clicking it's not working because not my server but it would say private on so you put on put it on private and then I highly doubt anyone would write down the code. If you're like super paranoid that someone wrote down the code and wants to join back in, you can, you know, change it right here after kicking them, of course, and then you just leave. And then no one can join that server until you come back into that server and unprivate it. And then you can continue, you know, with your good server. Like, let me find it. I don't really care. Like this one right here, day 39, 25k, relatively low bills for the amount of days I was on. That's a server I want to save. Like, that's a server that's going to get on the leaderboard. Potentially top 10, I don't know. I haven't launched it in a while, but I don't just want some random people to join back in. So I left on private and yeah that's it for my you know 10 tips and tricks if you guys want a part two of this just leave a like leave a comment saying you want more i'll get to it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later peace